Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. As per your request, I will be watching a video of SB19 performing a K-pop medley entitled Big Bang Medley. But the version I am watching is their live performance at the Shangri-La Mall. Now this should be really interesting because as you all know, I am not a big fan of K-pop. But before we play the video, I am once again inviting everyone to follow me on my Instagram account at Max underscore Q. And if you are here for the very first time, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. As usual, if you want to watch the entire performance, the full video without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box and I'll put the original video link there. Okay, let's start the video. To my Max tubers out there, what is KCC? Please comment down below because I know what 18 is, but it is my first time to hear KCC. Tell me down below. Okay, this song, this first one, based on the description of the original video, uh, is called Bang Bang Bang. So I have no idea what this song is all about. But can you guys also tell me down below why Ken stopped doing the choreography in that brief moment there, okay? <laughs> Number one, I love the snappy moves. Their energy level, as usual, is great. Number two, I like how Josh was pumping up the crowd, which I believe is extremely important because you want to get the audience's energy as high as possible. Once it's up, the performers can then feed off the energy of the viewers. So it's kind of um, a give and take situation. Number three, Ken actually sounds good singing in Korean. A bit nasal, but I think it's how you enunciate the words that's making it sound nasal. For instance, if I am singing a Chinese song, I will sound more nasal, a bit more nasal, than if I am singing, say, an English song. Because that's just how Chinese words are enunciated and projected. It's called nasal resonance. So same goes for Korean, I guess. I have no idea what Sejun just rapped because obviously it's in a language that I do not understand. But all I can say is his projection is great as usual. So what's new? He always gives us um, great intensity every time he performs. And as expected, their moves are well synchronized. So question is, is this one of those songs that they had to uh, rehearse for like a thousand times before they perform it? Because it looks like they had a lot of practice, which is good. Oh. 
All right, you guys have to correct me down below, okay, if I'm wrong. After Sejun, we had Justin, and at that last, na 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 na, uh, was sang by Josh, right? Okay, here we go. I love how Justin sounded here. He has this very youthful tone in his voice that went really well with his Korean song. As for Josh, I am impressed. For him to hit that high note and still sound good, I never thought his voice can go that high. Josh is in his element, doing what he does best. Very, very nice. To tell you honestly, hmm, I'm not in love with this song. But to be fair, let's be fair, and I have to admit that I like this part a lot. Do you guys remember one of the comments that I made before? When I mentioned I'd love to hear uh, these guys do overlapping raps with different voice textures. This is it. This is what Josh, Ken, and Sejun just did. I know they also did um, a rap like this in Bakit Ba Ikaw, but that sounded more like singing to me uh, than rapping, uh, since they were, at the time, following very specific note patterns. Um, if I remember right, a third higher and a third lower. So that's why I'm considering that as more singing than rapping. <laughs> I like that they gave Josh more parts, more exposure in this number. Because sometimes uh, I feel like he is being underutilized. Or maybe because there are more rap parts in the song. So that's why he has more parts. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, so I was about to ask if this is still the same song, but the lyrics just gave it away. Let's start with uh, the verses of this song, uh, Fantastic Baby. Again, not a big fan of the melody. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, that is why, for me, the melody of a song has to be really, really good. Because no matter how fantastic the singer is, in this case, Ken, we all know he is great. As great as he is, I just didn't love it as much as I should only because I don't like the melody of the song. Now this is a different story. Okay, I like the chorus part, but primarily because of their amazing choreography and contagious energy. As expected, they are very in sync and all of them are giving 100%. Uh, 
pastel just made me smile with that McDonald's M thing. But anyways, I just want to say that I really love it every time Josh and Ken are rapping together because they really sound good. They really sound good together. I love the layering of their voices. And there is um, this particular move that I really like, the one they did like that. Again, I'm not a dancer, so let's just go back to the clip. Not bad. I like this part, um, but mostly because of how Sejun performed, not by the merits of the song itself. His growl, his vocal intensity were on point. Add to that uh, the low notes of Ken that created an even fuller sound. And that's uh, the layering of voices that we are talking about. I think the best part of this song is um, the chorus. Again, I love Stell's heavenly voice, but I'm not too crazy about the melody of the song that he just sang. Now that was simply awesome. From the slow-mo, to the cartwheel, to the backflip. Very, very creative move, the slow-mo part. And obviously, I'm so impressed with the cartwheel and the backflip. So I gotta watch that again later after filming this. That was really, really cool. Too cool for words, if you ask me. You gotta have a strong core to be able to support your entire body weight. Mind-blowing. Let's continue. Wait, now I'm a bit confused. Since when did Boom Shakalaka, is that correct? Boom Shakalaka become Korean. But in fairness to them, it did catch my attention. Now, I also like to say that I love the audience interaction that they did here. The audience participation, which is very nice. Audience interaction is always good in my book. Because um, in essence, you are telling the crowd that this performance is not all about me. But it is for you. Can you guys share with me down below what was uh, that technical problem that they encountered? Because I did not notice anything wrong with the technicals and they all pretty much did really great. So I didn't hear any mistake. To you and to your Center. And to all the people in here. Thank you so much. Uh, sana, may may a performance. So, bala niyo po kami. Pero, for the meanwhile, i-enjoy niyo po lahat ng magpa-perform sa stage. Ito, may 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 salamat niyo sa inyo lahat. Wala po. Thank you. Ah, uh, 
I like what Sejun said here. We have another performance coming up in just a bit, but in the meantime, please enjoy the other performances. And I think that's very classy and very considerate of him to say that because he didn't have to. But by saying that, he is showing respect to the other performers that day. So, SB19, you are a class act. Moment of truth. Final verdict for this medley. I think they all did very well. We have to be fair and objective. But for me, Josh, Sejun, and Ken stood out the most. After them, it is a tie between Justin and Stell. I will not be fake and tell you that I love this medley. Did I like their performance? Yes, I did. Because I can see the hard work and their effort in pulling off such a breathtaking performance. I have to give them that. But I still prefer their original songs. Their original materials, I think, are 500% better than this medley. No offense to the K-pop fans there. That is just my personal opinion. For one, the melodies of their original songs sound more pleasing to my ears. I find this medley uh, just a bit too noisy for my taste. Again, as you all know, I have an old man's taste when it comes to music. I like songs that are more melodious, which SB19 songs are. Secondly, I love the messages of their original songs. These, I have no idea what the lyrics are about since it is in Korean, which I do not understand. But just to share with you a quick story. I have one Korean friend that I work with a lot in my live events. Her name is Dasari Choi. Hi Dasari and hi Poi. Poi is her manager, also a good friend of mine. She once told me that it is actually harder, very, very difficult to memorize Korean songs, even for Koreans like herself because a lot of times, the lyrics do not make any sense. Unlike Filipino songs or English songs that usually tell a story. According to her, sometimes the lyrics are very random, so it's kind of hard to remember them. She did give me an example of a song that I really cannot remember right now. But just to show you how random the lyrics can be. For example, the first part of the song can say, Let's go to a park and stroll and look at the scenery. And then suddenly, the lyrics will cut to your lips, your lips, your lips, your eyes, your legs. So it's not making a lot of sense. But that is just how the song goes. In a nutshell, I appreciate the performance, but I'm not too crazy about the songs. I'm really sorry if I am disappointing you guys, but I have to be real. At the end of the day, it is a matter of personal preference, a matter of personal taste. I'm sure a lot of other people love these songs. Even the way the crowd were responding, were singing along. You can tell that they love these songs. Or perhaps it is just a generational thing. Meaning, I'm just having a hard time accepting the new sound. So what are your thoughts about this medley? Please comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. With that, thank you all for watching. And please don't forget to hit subscribe, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxTube. Stay safe, happy and healthy everyone. Till next time, bye!